Introduction to Plastic Part Design The process of designing plastic parts can be broken down into steps, with decisions that must be made as the designer goes through these steps. In the following units, we'll review basic design factors, considerations, and a brief comment about their significance to part function, cost, and reliability. This chart shows a typical process flow for designing plastic parts. All design processes may not be the same as this, but should contain these elements. In today's world of advanced materials and manufacturing processes, plastic part design is perhaps one of the most changing fields of design. Variables such as geometry, materials, finishes, molding methods, assembly, and packaging require experienced input to achieve an acceptable finished part. The plastic part design process requires a coordinated effort to put each piece of the process in its place and in the correct sequence. Without proper planning, some aspect of the process usually suffers, such as part quality, manufacturing cost, performance, or service life. An organized team of qualified individuals representing the full spectrum of disciplines involved in the development will prevent tooling and manufacturing design flaws. This planned teamwork will require the collective efforts of anyone involved in the design, engineering, prototyping, manufacturing, finishing, assembly, sales, marketing, packaging, and shipping to establish all necessary requirements up front. This avoids the costly and time-consuming occurrence of having to take corrective actions after the tool is in production and parts are in order, or worse yet, having to consider a product recall. Departments working together will have increased awareness and understanding of how their decisions affect all other functions of the system. In this course, we will be focusing on plastic part design for injection molding. Injection molding is a manufacturing process for producing parts from both thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic materials. Plastic pellets are fed into a heated barrel or cylinder, mixed and melted, forced through a nozzle into a mold cavity where it cools, hardens to configuration of the mold cavity, and then is ejected from the two mold halves. After a product is designed by an engineer or industrial designer, molds are made by the mold maker or tool maker from metal, usually either steel or aluminum, and precision machine to form the features of the desired part as you can see.